Hello, my name is Javier and welcome to a new Warcraft video about Legion. This time is the second part of the continuation of the Warlock talents and PvP talents that are incoming for Legion. Remember, in PvP you're gonna have Spec talents, PvP talents and Artifact talents. In PvE you're gonna have all the gear customization and the PvE talent that is Spec talent and the Artifact talent. Sorry about that. I don't have a script for that. <laughs> Um, right now we're gonna launch to the Demonoly Warlord right away. The Demonoly Warlord of course has different talents from Affliction. For that reason in this series video I'm gonna spec for every spec in spec talents and PvP talents because in PvP talents change too. I'm not gonna speak about artifact talent because they are not over there. <laughs> but when they release the artifact talents I'm gonna show you the artifact talent for every artifact in the class I plan in play. Uh, right now is Warlord, Decay, Shaman and Demo Hunter. My main is gonna be Demo Hunter. Uh, the other ones is gonna be my old. Right now my main in Warlord Draenor is the Warlock. Okay, let's jump. The first talent, Shadow Inspiration. Shadow Inspiration comes of your next Shadow Ball the demon, demonic empowerment also causes your next shadow bolt is instant. Uh, the demon empowerment means a 12 second cooldown has multiple charge that empower your target minions. Two of your most target minions. It's awesome. Because that is give you a gimmickious mobility. Because you cast your power and you have instantly a uh, soul charge on your shadow bolt. It's very good. Shadow flame. Is let me see. Okay. To charge 12 seconds recharge, load of ball of shadow flame to the target. Ball, load a ball of shadow flame. The target dealing 100% spell power, shadow damage, and over 120 spell power, shadow damage over ta over 8 seconds can be stacked. Okay, awesome. This is a little dot. Dot style, play style, adding to the Demonoly Warlock. Demonoly, demonic Calling. Your shovel has 20% chance to make your next Call of Threat Stalker free. That is resource management. Because not say nothing about reset your the your Dragon Stalkers is making it free. And yes, it's resource management. Awesome. Impending Doom. Doom also soon two wall ends when they'll damage. Remember, the new Doom is not gonna do any damage over time. No. It's gonna be 16 second dots. It's like, it's gonna apply a debuff and when these 16 seconds occurs, it's gonna do a massive shadow damage. That is the new Doom. When this spell do the massive shadow damage is when he's gonna be triggered. Is awesome. Improved Drain Stalker. Caldron Stalker now summon two wall imps. It sounds good. It's more summoning. It's more summoning overall. I prefer this one than this one because Drain Stalker is 12 seconds cooldown or 15 seconds. I think it's 12 seconds cooldown. And this is 16 second cooldowns. And is one apply the dodge damage because can be dispelled in PvP is that the way. In PvE no, in PvE is always gonna kind of working. <laughs> but yeah. But this can be multi-dotting. In multi-dotting is gonna be awesome. But this is more single target one. Implosion. The money force of all your while in toward the target and cause they are violent, violent explode daily shadow flame damage to all nearby enemies. That means you summon like 16, you see, a lot of wild imp, imps and summon all, they're gonna fly to the target and you're gonna explode. It's awesome. So Lich is the same now for Shadow Ball, Morakoi and the Stone Shadow Fury is for the Demonology Warlock. The Mortal Call is the same. Hang of Doom. Hang of Doom will now apply Doom to all enemies that hit when you consume at least 3 soul shards. Now, 
Remember, Hanos Gulden is aware that summons a wild ins depending on the amount of surcharge you're casting. If you're casting all time on top on five surcharge, it's gonna be five wild in. If you have impeding doom on the target, remember the wild in is gonna be dispelled. But if you're casting a second Hanos Gulden, one the impeding doom is gonna proc. Well, it's not working with it. What am I saying? Yes, you're gonna have a lot of wild in in this combo. The in implosion is gonna work in when you're using your hand on cooldown. Nah, uh, yes, it's a different combo, but you have the idea. Summon a lot of wild in use in implosion or having a lot of imps. It's good. Power Trip, Demonic and Power now affect all your active demons. This is awesome because it's gonna be all your demons, your wild in, your foreign, your dress stalker, your summon demons a lot. It's very good. Soul Harvest is the same as the Affliction one, Demon Shirt is the same as the Affliction one, Dark Pack is the same as the Affliction one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the same. Grimoire's Supremacy is the same, Grimoire's of Servitude is the same, and Grimoire's Disenergy is the same of right now in life. Summon Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Yes, the Demon is, is gonna appear the starting song of the Demon Hunter, now you can summon it. It's among a Demon Inquisitor that launch Shadow Frost Volley to all targets that you have Doom. Doom it. What's that? Is an old target you have done is gonna sumo is gonna attack this inquisitor, it's gonna attack all targets you have done. It's very good. That means if you have Hang of Doom and Summon Inquisitor, you can use your Hang of Doom down in your way fight and use all that that Hang of Doom down is gonna apply Doom to all the targets and summon the Inquisitor is gonna do all that away to the targets. It's gonna cost soul chart, that means it's, it's gonna be the second part of the combo. You can cast the hang of, of doom on three soul shards to summon to apply the dot. And after that it is gonna cost in two soul shards, you're gonna cast your two spells, your two shell balls to cast and cast the quizzer. Have a very gimmick combo. Demo bolt is gonna work as slightly as today. It's gonna do less damage because it's, it's a filler. It's a filler and soul charge generator. There are energy for demo for your demons and lose about the demonic energy of the target. Do 100% of your spell powers in Charles damage. The damage is increased in third person for each demon you have. Actually, if you do the math, you have your current demon, two thirds target. And to a maximum of five wild imps. That means eight, eight times is gonna apply the demo ball to single target. I think this is the most damage increase a spell uh, because it's gonna be a for Terry. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like two hundred and forty percent of damage. It is a lot of damage. Yeah, it's that. 240. 200% 200 and 240% of damage with this. If you have your firewall in the dress stalker and of course your pet average out dimmable. It's gonna be awesome. It's a long casting, but it's awesome. It's gonna be a lot. Sorry about that. Um, demonic servitude is the same demonic servitude as right now online. Now go through the few talents for the warlord demonology. The same road of the gladiator medallion uh, adaptation, recklessness, train thought, quick mind, initiation. The same row of scores, the same row of the health food improving health in demo scheme. Now this is exclusive for demonology. Improved demonic empowerment. 
Demonic Empowerment now is instant cast. Okay, good for PvP. Demonic Wrestling. Reduce the duration of the snare, root, the stomp, affect your summoning demons. That is good too. Mana Fit. Draw Stalker, melee attack, restore one person of your maximum mana. This is gonna reduce the amount of life that you're gonna use. It's awesome. Uh, it's no phone spell. Draw Stalker Frenzy. Your Draw Stalker gains Frenzy for 5 seconds while they summoning, attacking. Okay, the Frenzy is 50% more faster. Okay. Call Overseer. Summon Overseer over a friendly target head. That's gonna be a avatar in your head. Shooting laser at the nearest enemy every every second x seconds for 30 seconds. Deal more damage that close up the enemy. Has a minimal cooldown is not yet implemented. We're gonna summon an avatar in the head of our friend ally. This is awesome, this world of the Manali right now. It's looking very awesome. We have more time. Because the first video is was a lot longer because I speak more about this PvP system right now and the PvP PvP one. Let's make a build. It's gonna play an idea of what is gonna look in power because inertia level instant. So PvP is gonna be this, this. I gonna pick this show. Yes, that one because this is instant block half charge and instant can be dispelled. And I like that. Uh, this improvement, let me see, uh, the money for the tattoo. For a standard solid play, I'm gonna make him. Mm, yes, a standard, because the implosion you need someone a lot of him. No, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be this, this, um. Because we, we're gonna work around the implosion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna work around the implosion. Okay. Star path always. Or sometimes the money circle. Streamer of servitude. Yes. Inquisitor. Yes, yeah, because we're gonna apply don't. What kind of world does that mean? We don't need cast don't in the target. And, and use the implosion to have a little burst for the in before they're gonna explode. Summon the Inquisitor. We're gonna do a lot of damage. This is a casting one. I think if I apply this, is Shadow Inspiration is gonna apply too, because it's replace the Shadow Ball. Maybe this is better than the Summon the Inquisitor. And if you you're summoning a lot of demons, like say this, it's gonna be a very good combo. This is gonna be a very good combo for LA. But let's see this. This is the best spell because you summon a lot and you're gonna make this instant when you use your empower this is for pvp of course this three is for pvp um you're gonna summon extra two wild imps always when you use your dress stalker you're gonna protect your demons with this child shield you and your pet your pet is your first pet is gonna receive the trick empower and power trick is gonna all your demons are gonna receive increased damage. That might work with the sick inquisitor, the sick inquisitor, the summon inquisitor, but the demo ball is gonna increase the damage for more minions you have. Um in PvP talent, let's you for this one is gonna be better having let's with the standard medallion. Drain throat, no, please. The case one, curse of fragility, demon skin, and proving power because the mana fig I don't think is gonna be useful a lot. 
the mono wrestling is is can be good. It's can be good, but the improving the money and power, making instant cast, it's gonna be uh, give you a lot of mobility because you can cast all summon your minions, your hard casting minions using power. What you hard cast in Ramos Gulgan is instant. It's no casting. And well, I remember it's instant. I don't know if it's changed. And you're not gonna summon all those minions, empower all those minions, and bring a stalker. The overseed is more is gonna be a little supporty, but this is awesome. This is awesome, 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 awesome. You can call the overseer. If the overseer is come as a minion, it's better having the overseer that the the dress talker because you summon this minion and use empowerment. You you can summon on your minions. You wanna summon your big demon, your felgor ward. Um, yeah. And when you use it, Grimoire Servitude is gonna summon additional demons. You're gonna have more demons. There's gonna be a lot of demons. This is awesome. I don't know if this Grimoire Supremacy is gonna fail all your demons, but say empower your demon pet. And say demon pet is only the first pet, the another are Warden pets. Basically, this gives you an idea of what is going to be uh, the talent, the major glyph is not going to exist any longer, just minor glyph, and the minor glyph is you can have all you know glyphs that you want. And yes, this is the idea of what to change for the warlock demonology with trees, um, talent trees, and PvP talent trees. I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you the next time for the Destruction Warlock. Remember to subscribe, comment, and follow my another videos for more World of Warcraft. Thanks for watching, and see you the next time here on Azeroth.